welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Uh, this is a life well spent. My name is Kelly and on this channel, I'm documenting my financial journey. Um, I share things like my household budget with like my actual numbers. So my income, um, I will close out my budget at the end of the month, show you how I did. I do weekly tracking to kind of keep myself on track. Um, I'm actually going to do some like goal setting and stuff this year as well to kind of try to expand the offerings. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you or something you're interested in, I would love it if you subscribed and joined us in this community. I am a single woman. I am 41 years old. Um, and I am in, I think, a particular place, right? I'm not young and starting out in my career and doing all the things right the first time or saying like, oh, I screwed up when I was 22, but now I'm 25 and can steer the course, right? My I screwed up for many years and then finally figured out how to get my financial life in order. So, you know, personal finance is personal. We all get to this, we all get on this journey. We all hop on this train at different stations and we all, you know, take different tracks and that's fine. Um, but this is where I'm at. So hopefully, you know, you can find something that you can relate to or, um, you know, at least sympathize with when it comes to me and the stupid choices I have made with my money over time is what it is. I do have to say up front, I have this weird like tickle in my throat going on. Like it had better not be COVID. I am uh, vaccinated. I have both shots in March, got COVID in March uh, in between my shots. So that's really fun. Then I got boosted and I got boosted like end of October, maybe. I realize it's January, but like, my God, better not be it. I'm be so mad because I'm about to go back to work and then I'll have to take sick days and I'm annoyed at the entire prospect. So it is like kind of like dry. I don't know. I'm hoping it's just like something in the air or something. But anyway, without further ado, here is my January budget. So um, I have gotten, gotten into the specifics. I'm going to actually try to do this quickly and, you know, do this in like under 15 minutes because my videos have been running like super long as of late. So I, um, am a single woman. I do a zero based budget, which means before the month begins, every dollar has an assignment and gets spent somewhere, whether that's like moved into savings or, um, actually, you know, budgeted for, and I have essentially two sources of income, although I really would not consider the second one a source of income, but it just, for the purposes of the budget sheet, it goes here. My mother gives me about $291 a month and it covers some things that we have as shared expenses. Like we share a cell phone plan, we share um, an, a television plan, like things like that. Uh, she gives me money towards um, her granddaughter, my niece's brokerage account, because it's just, I'm the one who set it up and I'm the one who's, you know, whatever. It's easier for her to give it to me than send it directly. I don't know. Just, it is what it is. Um, so that's, you know, kind of what that stuff comes in at. So it gets spent in my budget. So I include it as income, although, like I said, it's not really income, but, um, I do get paid bi-weekly. So two times a, a year, I get that third pay month, which is fabulous. I think this year, 2022, I think the three pays are July and December again, to be honest. Let me look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I think it's July and December again. I'm actually going to pause this video here, pause the recording and find out for sure. Yeah, it is. I took a drink in the meantime too, um, which is weird because that's what it was last year. And that doesn't usually happen. It kind of like shifts a little bit. So anyway, it's all good. Um, but I like, it's just, it's easier for me to like take that money separate and put it towards a goal. Or um, I think my plan this year is going to be to just put it towards my, um, Hopefully by July, I have my my one money goal taken care of. So it'll probably go towards the second money goal um, and then go from there. So anyway, um, income from my day job, $3,731.90. I get $291 from my mother for a total of $4,022.90. And this is take home. So um, what's already deducted from here actually is a... Um, contributions to my HSA. I max that out every year. 
Um, for me, that is, let me see, what was last year's? I just finished it. Um, $3,600. I don't actually know if that's going to change for next month or not. And let's look. HSA contribution limits 2022. Ooh, 36.50. Heck yeah, I can put another 50 bucks in. So that's great. So what I've typically done because it's kind of a pain to like calculate how much that's going to be each paycheck. And then I had have to go down to HR and make the change and blah, 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 blah. And like, that is annoying because then if I, for whatever reason, calculate wrong, and sometimes it's like a quarter of a cent, um, is the way that it breaks down. And I end up being like five cents over. And then I have to go down and tell them like, no, I'm over. Like, don't contribute anymore this month and then like the next week go back and be like yeah okay but now i need it to start again for the next month and like that's a pain to keep filling out those papers so what i've decided to do is just let it ride and then at the end of the year when i after that last pay head goes in i look and see how much is different and then i just make send money over from my checking account it is all the same because it technically it's not after tax money because even though it's already hit my bank account and the taxes are already taken out of it, like I'll get to deduct that from my taxes to begin with. So like it, it all evens out in the end. Um, oh, you might notice the budget looks a little different this year. I kind of upgraded and made some changes just to make things a little bit easier. Like I kind of liked that header, but it was a pain to go in and like edit all the time. So anyway, and same thing with like, if I wanted to make any changes or add or subtract rows like it kind of just got annoying with like the color coding which i liked the alternating color look wise but it wasn't as functional so is what it is um what else oh i contribute to a pension plan out of my um my income so that's about it mortgage 671 dollars and 86 cents that's principal interest that's also pmi insurance and taxes all get escrowed together which is fantastic um i'm actually looking at seeing if i can drop pmi yet i don't quite know where i am with that and i'm gonna do some research here and see kind of where like what i would need to do to actually get it dropped um i'm told it like should automatically drop once it hits a certain threshold but i've been in my house now for five and a half years I feel like it should be able to hit that threshold pretty close because it wasn't a very expensive house. Um, electric 57, 48, that's mostly Christmas lights, which you can see, like I've got, ooh, there's my Penn State tree in the back. I've got three trees, so, you know. Natural gas, 137.50, which I'm pretty psyched about because gas was supposed to go up like 50%. Um, and I think what happened is, so I got a new furnace in November and I think what happened is, I think the price per unit of gas went up so like, if this is what I normally pay, this is what I would pay with the old furnace because the price per unit went up. But I think instead what happened is the, so the price per unit went up to here, but my unit got more efficient. So I was actually using less, less units of gas, whatever that measurement is. So it stayed about the same, which I'm thrilled about, truly thrilled about. Um, and this is realistically, it's for December, but the bill comes in January or comes due in January. So I just include this as January's budget because I don't want to have to go in and like estimate and come back and like change it. Like that seems silly to me. Like I know this well in advance. In fact, usually when I get the electric bill, that's my, Ooh, make sure we finalize our budget. So we're $58. It's a flat rate. It's annoying because like if I traveled for the whole month and never flushed my toilet once, I would still be paying $58 for sewer. Water is 1898. That went up a penny from last year. So that's such a weird go up a penny, like, but whatever. Um, that's technically not a flat rate, but kind of is for me because there is a flat rate based on usage. So same thing. Like if I travel for a month and I don't use any water, I'm going to get charged that I almost never go over like the minimum amount of usage though. But then after that, it, it is a variable rate based on usage. I'm rarely ever there. Internet, $146, that is internet and television. It includes a television package that frankly has the Big Ten Network and that's the only reason because my father likes to watch it. And he is, um, for those of you who don't know, those of you who follow me um, know, but for those of you who don't know, he is um, paralyzed after an accident. So he gets very few joys in life and if it costs me a little bit of money to get him Big Ten Network so he can watch Penn State, then it is what it is. 
cell phone, um, $60. I've had to actually up that from normal because I traveled a little bit. I just got back, um, from visiting my niece and I knew that like I'd be using data cause I'd be using the mapping feature to get out there. Um, and things of that nature. So I, I, uh, need to up that cause I know that that's going to be more expensive than it usually is. Groceries, a hundred dollars, life insurance, seven dollars and fifty cents. That's just a term life and pol policy. It's very small. It's not really going to cover much of anything other than like burial expenses. Um, gas, two hundred dollars. I upped that because I and I also upped my personal to four hundred and fifty dollars. I intend to go skiing this month. I don't know that that's going to happen because it's going to be ridiculously warm most of the month. I mean, not really warm, warm, but it's not skiing weather. Um, it's going to be mostly like in the forties, which is annoying because that is annoying skiing weather. Like it, uh, when you ski on the East coast, it's annoying because then at some point, like as it gets later on in the day and the temperature drops, all the snow that was kind of melty ish in the forties. Now it's in the low thirties, high twenties, and it's ice. If you ski at night, you're skiing on ice and that's a pain. A uh, hundred dollars to the brokerage account for my niece. I do 50. My mother does 50. That's part of what she gives me above. House garden, $100. Um, I don't actually know that I'm going to even spend that. We'll see. Restaurant, $50. I upped that because I'm kind of starting to go out on dates and stuff. And I figure I should probably give myself a little bit more wiggle room. Fitness, $50 for fitness. It is my year of health. That is one of my goals this year. And with that is going to come some fitness-related purchases. I'm going to subscribe to Apple Plus or Apple Fitness Plus because I got a th free three months with my Apple Watch and I freaking love it just sucked it up. I'm going to spend it. I don't care. I love it. I'm going to keep doing it. Whatever keeps me motivated to like get fit is going to work with that's probably going to be some equipment here and there. Like I might buy some dumbbells. Um, I may need to buy like new workout clothes as I kind of hopefully lose weight and no longer really fit in these. So, um, I'm kind of planning for that and I'm giving myself 50 bucks a month personal 450. That's, I kind of explained that mostly planning on going skiing, but I have a feeling I'm going to come not even going to come close to spending that miscellaneous always in a miscellaneous category. Just things come up. So that's a hundred dollars. And my Roth IRA right now I have set at only $250 because my plan is to go 250 and then put the third pay in my third pay months, um, on the rest of that, or rather once I hit my, um, emergency fund goal, the rest of it goes on the Roth IRA till that's taken care of. And then, um, we go from there. Um, AS that's my student loans, $200 a month payment. And then the rest comes the sinking funds. And these actually are going to look a little different this year. And um, I have a video that's going to come out and explain those a little bit differently in a little bit more detail and kind of why I'm setting them up the way that I'm setting it up. So I'm not going to get into detail right now about it. One thing I do want to point out is some of these are zeroed out. Some of these are new and they started with $200 because somewhere along the line, I don't know where, I don't know how. I think I just didn't transfer money back and forth somewhere. And I got to the end of the year and I was like, I have 600, almost $700 more than I should have in this sinking fund based on like what I've accounted for here and what I've put in my account. So what probably happened is I bought something out of my checking account that really should have come out of the sinking funds. And I just didn't move the money over to my checking account. Um, and it could have just been because I was really underspending in a category and I was like, whatever, I, I'll just, I can just cover that. Like, I don't have to change. I'll just leave the money in there. Um, is what I'm guessing happened. I don't really know. I don't really know. But fortunately, it's a surplus and not a lack of. So I thought like, oh, I could leave that as a cushion or, you know, what do I want to do? And I thought, you know, what, I'll get some of these new funds started and that'll be easier. So um, I'm actually going to put more money into my emergency fund. This is kind of what's in there right now. Uh, my furnace took a huge chunk out of it. So I'm going to try to replace a lot of that. I'd like to get that up to about 15000 and just let it ride there. So nothing in the student loan fund. Um, I will work on that after I get my Roth IRA finalized, after I get my emergency fund finalized, then we'll start throwing into the student loan fund. That's the plan for 2022 anyway. Household subscription, $50. House repair, $100. Garbage, $20. That's actually up because that was in the negative at the end of the year when I peg it. Uh, Nittany Lion Club, $16. Giving fund, $84. Um, car insurance, $59 a month, car repair, $50, gift fund, $50. That's also one of the ones I ended up having to zero out. It was negative garden, $50, travel, $200 and clothing, $50 as well. And like I said, it's a zero based budget. So that is all the money that is being accounted for at any point in time. Hallelujah. 
that's my January budget. We'll see how we do. If you have any comments, questions, let me know um, in the comments down below if you want to know anything about how I work this budget that I haven't already talked about. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.